Hey, Judy Orsi here, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the top three habits you need if you wish to burn fat and keep that fat off so you can finally sustain the progress that you work so hard for. Now, before we get too deep into this video, I want to really encourage you to watch this video all the way through. And the reason I say that is because towards the end of this video, I am going to grab you by your hand and I am going to walk you through a very comprehensive worksheet. And the reason I want to do this is so that you can implement the principles you will be learning in this video into your life. You see, you and I both know that more information is not the answer. Changing your behavior is the answer, okay? And the worksheet is doing exactly that, getting you to change your behavior, because that's what is going to get you the results you want. If you want to change your life, then you got to change your life, my friend. So with that being said, watch this video all the way through, and also, please subscribe to my channel so you can receive more videos just like this one. Without further ado, let's get into habit number one that you need if you want to burn fat and sustain your results, okay? Habit number one is a daily practice for your mind and your spirit. Okay, and the reason this is so important, okay? Let me give you a visual. This is what I call the pyramid of transformation. You see, most people, they have it completely backwards. I'm not sure if you can read that, but at the top of this pyramid, it says supplements. Most people start their journey of burning fat, improving their health by buying supplements, okay? Supplements are useless unless you have everything underneath in check, okay? So supplements are useless unless you, unless you are consistent with exercise, unless you are consistent with your nutrition, and unless you have your mindset on point. Right? So most people start here and they're never able to get the results they want. Or if they do get results, they can never sustain their results because they don't have the foundation in place. Okay? Exercise. Most people start here. Well, let me tell you something that is hard for people to really wrap their head around. Exercise is useless. Exercise is useless unless you have your nutrition on point and also your mind on point. Nutrition is useless unless you have your mindset on point. And the reason I say that is because you will not be able to be consistent and show up day in and day out unless you have an unstoppable mindset. And an unstoppable mindset is different for every single one of us. It's congruent with your standards. However, it's important that we have a daily exercise to reset, remind, and intend. And what I mean by that is the exercise should be in a quiet place where we're able just to kind of reset our mind and our body and our breath so that we can kind of detach ourselves from our thoughts and we can become a witness of our thoughts rather than grabbing onto every thought that comes up and feeling like we need to act on it. We just kind of quiet everything down and become the witness of our thoughts. And this gives us the space to remind ourselves of what we really want to create with our life. Okay, the, the biggest roadblock people get into when they're trying to burn fat is they're just always caught up in their thoughts and they're always thinking about what they don't want. Okay, when you get into this daily practice of becoming the witness of your mind, you take the time to remind yourself, this is what I do want. And wherever your energy goes, baby, that's where you're going to be acting as well, right? So reset, remind, and then intend. And what I mean by intend is once you remind yourself of what you want, I want you to see yourself experiencing it. Feel what it would feel like to be in your dream body. Feel what it would feel like to have the confidence that you want, have the energy you want, okay? And simply just intend on doing whatever needs to be done to make that in reality. So the daily mind and spirit practice is all about reset, become the witness, 
Remind yourself of what you want and intend on doing it. We have to get into this habit if we want to burn fat and keep that fat off, okay? It doesn't have to be this long daily practice. It can be two minutes, right? It doesn't take long. It can be five minutes or 25. Now, that's habit number one. Habit number two is eating in accordance to your metabolic type. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to take you through a quiz and a worksheet that will help you identify your own unique biological metabolic type. And the reason this is paramount to your success is because the way your body responds to food is entirely different than the way my body responds to food. So if you saw my body and you're like, oh my God, dude, what are you doing? And I told you exactly what I'm doing and you try it, and you don't get the results that I got, you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm so lazy, I'm so unmotivated, I don't have the discipline it takes, I don't have the genetics it takes, when none of that's true. The only thing that's true is you are not fueling your body in the necessary way according to your metabolic type. There's three metabolic types and we'll talk much more about that in the worksheet here in a moment, so make sure you stick around because that is a habit that you must live in accordance to every single day. Okay? And it, it's an, it makes fat loss become effortless. It really does. You don't have to deprive yourself because you're finally giving your body the things it needs. Habit number three, you already know this one, but I want to kind of talk about why we're doing it. Okay, and that's lifting weights. As you can tell, my stick figure is doing uh, a barbell overhead press, and this, this one's doing a plank or at the top of a push-up. Okay. The reason we want to lift weights three to five times per week is because lifting weights depletes our muscles of their glycogen stores. And the reason this is paramount to your success is because when your body is depleted of their glycogen stores, it begins to instantaneously burn fat as fuel. Okay? And this is why people who lift weights are able to get away with eating much more junk food than people who don't lift weight. Because the people who lift weight, their body is depleted of glycogen because they're lifting weight. And then once they eat the unhealthy food, their body then gets full of glycogen and it's this perpetual cycle, right? And this is also why people who don't focus on nutrition and lift weights, why they never really make the progress they want. Because they deplete and then they fill it up, they deplete and it's just this kind of perpetual, never ending hamster wheel. However, if you're not lifting weights, and if you're just doing yoga, or you're just walking, or any, or running, even running, okay, if you're doing those things, <clears throat> your body is not being depleted of its glycogen, which means it's full of glycogen, you're eating some junk food, it might not even be much, and then more glycogen comes into your body because of the junk food, and if there's an overload of glycogen, your body instantaneously stores that as fat. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. If it didn't, we'll um, answer any questions that you have in the comment section below. And something that's really cool with everything we talked about is that my online six-week body life mastery program gets into real deep, deep, deep work for everything we just talked about. We talk about mindset. The first two weeks, it's all mindset. And I teach you exactly how to reprogram your mind at the subconscious level so you can create unstoppable discipline, unstoppable confidence, unstoppable motivation, okay? We talk about in, that, in my course. I also get into real deep, detailed work with your metabolic type and I give you a meal plan based off of your metabolic type and I walk you through a 12-week workout program. So if you want to learn more about my six-week Body Life Mastery program where I work with you one-on-one, -on -one, okay, then you can schedule your free coaching call down below. Just find the link down below. So with that being said, schedule your call if you're interested, subscribe to my channel, and what I wanna do now is walk you through the worksheet that will help you identify your metabolic type, and the way you gain free access to this worksheet is go to the description down below, read everything so you click the correct link and find the correct link that will take you to this worksheet, type in your email, and you will immediately receive free 
access to this worksheet. It might pop up in your junk meal, so keep that in mind. And I want you to do that right now so you can follow along for part two of this video. Download that worksheet right now. All right, my friend, welcome to part two of today's video where we are going to identify your unique biological metabolic type. And the reason doing this is so important to your fat loss success is because the moment you start eating in alignment with your metabolic type is when your metabolism goes through the roof and your body starts to effortlessly burn fat and you will also notice that your energy levels will skyrocket it's really quite um, incredible what your body experiences once you start finally eating in alignment with your biological needs again to gain free access to this worksheet go to the description down below the video you're watching type in your email and you will immediately gain access to this um, google document and what I want you to do is one of two things. You can either print this worksheet out off, and the way you do that is go file and then print, okay? Or if you want to just simply edit this on your own laptop, okay? All you have to do is go file, click make a copy, and then you will name it whatever you want, okay? And then you will click OK but I'm not gonna do that, but you click okay. And then once you do that, you'll be able to edit this, okay? So let's go through this metabolic type quiz together real quick. And if any questions come up, you can always reach me at this email in the top right hand corner, or you can comment down below. Now, this quiz is designed to help you determine the optimal macronutrient ratio best for your biological needs so you can begin the process of fine-tuning your health and your vitality. So the instructions are as follows. Okay? When answering the questions, circle or highlight the answer that best describes the way you feel, not the way you think you should feel or the way you think you should eat. That's really important. None of the answers if none of the answers suit you with a particular question, just simply don't answer that question. That's okay. If the answer A suits you some of the time and the answer B suits you at other times, you can circle or highlight both. Okay, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. There's 14 questions that you will have to answer. And once you complete that, don't do that yet so you can learn everything you need to learn before you do it. But once you do do it, once you do do it, <laughs> you, will you will tally your total A's and B's and determine or based off of your A's and your B's will determine and tell you your unique metabolic type. And once you identify whether you are a polar type, a variable type, an equatorial type, you can begin shape-shifting the way you eat your food. And underneath all of this macronutrient ratio that I have are some very detailed and specific tips according to your metabolic type. So after you answer the question, make sure you read about your metabolic type so you know exactly how to implement this new approach into your life. And the basic guidelines are real crucial. Eat the proportion of fats, protein, carbs that feel right for you. Eat the right foods for your metabolic type, okay? And retest your metabolic type after a couple of months. It's a common, it is common to change types as you become healthier, okay? So go ahead and stop watching this video. Do this worksheet, okay? We have to change our behavior if we want to change our results. If you have any questions about what to do, after you identify your metabolic type, comment down below if you want to get into some deep work and you are really willing to invest in your health, in your fat loss, in your success, okay? This is your life we're talking about. Um, then what you can do is schedule a free coaching consultation with me and I will help pinpoint your blind spots and I will help you and I together will create a game plan uh, moving forward. So if that's something you are interested in, then go back to the YouTube video and schedule a free coaching call with me. You can do that right now. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to talking to you. Um, and also, please share this video with somebody who you think will benefit from it. Please share it with your 
personal trainer or your health coach so that you guys can be on the same team together if you're working with one right now. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye now.